In this video, you'll learn how to set up your LucidLink cache disk for best performance on macOS. If you're using Microsoft Windows, please see the video focused on setting up your cache on Windows computers. You'll also learn when you should change the size and location of the LucidLink cache. The LucidLink client uses a local cache to store blocks of encrypted data that you've streamed from the cloud. All data that's streamed into or out of LucidLink goes through the cache. By default, the cache for each connected file space will be in your user's home directory and be five gigabytes in size. For each connected file space, you can change both the cache size and cache location. Before changing your cache location, consider that any pinned data will need to be repinned once a new cache location setting has been applied. To learn more about pinning, read our knowledge base article. The LucidLink cache works best when it's on an SSD or NVMe drive. These types of drives are fast enough to keep up with the performance that LucidLink enables. Make sure you're using a drive of this type with an internal interface, Thunderbolt, or USB-C. To check the type of disk you have in macOS, open Disk Utility and select Show All Devices under View. Select the drive on the left side of the window. Here you'll see the type of disk. If it doesn't show solid state, then you should move the cache to another disk if you want to achieve the best performance. When you have Disk Utility open, you can also check the file system that was selected when the disk was formatted. For best performance, this should be APFS. If it's set to something else, you can't change it without formatting the disk. Remember, formatting a disk erases all the data from it, so you'll probably want to do this on a new disk. You can choose an internal or external disk. If you're not sure which disk to format, check with your IT or system administrator. To format a disk, select it and click Erase. Choose APFS. You should also give it a volume name. Click Erase and when the format is complete, click Done to close the dialog box. Now that the disk is ready, you're able to change the settings in the LucidLink control panel. You should only change the location when you're not actively uploading to or streaming data from the file space. Each file space you connect to has its own cache configuration. Open the control panel for the file space you want to configure and select Settings. Click the Cache Location field and choose the volume name for your new disk. You can create and use a subfolder if you want. Press the green check mark icon, click on Reconnect Now, and once confirmed, your cache is stored on the new disk. To change the size, click the Local Cache Size field and set it to the desired capacity. My disk is 480 gigabytes, so I will increase it to 400 gigabytes to leave some headroom for optimal disk performance. If you've moved your cache to an external disk, make sure it's plugged in before connecting to your file space and don't unplug the disk until you have disconnected. Please note that if you've configured your cache on an external disk, it will only be usable on that computer. Other computers you might use will need their own unique LucidLink cache to be configured. You can learn more at LucidLink's knowledge base, and you can check out our other how-to videos and workflow guides at lucidlink.com.